This is code.org, and we are using 2D arrays. Now, before I choose one of these, I want to point out that they're all very similar. So I want you to pick the one that you are interested in, right? Countries, create a data array, temp data, get country data, string, and some numbers. Same thing here. And this looks different because it has a theater. But again, guys, this is going to be very similar in its requirements. It just outputs pictures instead. And same with this, arrays, 2D array of numbers, so on and so forth. So regardless of which one you choose, they have a lot of similarities. With that being said, I'll just do cost of living then. And a researcher wants to analyze the cost of living index for several countries. They have the following values. Cool. And so let's see. This is a, well, we'll get to that. Where each row represents Australia, Brazil, Canada, France, US, woo woo, respectively. Each column represents the cost of the living index, the rent index, the grocery index, the restaurant price index, respectively. Write the create data array. All right, now time for the good stuff. Yes, the code is the good stuff. I see you rolling your eyes. I mean, I don't see you, but I hear you. Well, that's a like, too. It doesn't matter. Declare and initialize a 2D double array. Now, why is it a double? Because decimal values, right? So this one happens to be doubles. Now, if I look at some of these others, this would be for a food truck. These look like ints, right? And for this, it looks like a string. So, but regardless, we're for this one doing a 2D double array temp data. And that's going to be done here. Notice they have one for notes. So double and we blah, 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 square brackets. If you're unsure, show me how. They give you a bit of a tip here. So data type and temp data. Temp data equals, and then notice we need to use, oh, they're doing it directly. However, oh, we are declaring and initializing. Okay, so for this one, we're not just gonna use new, we have to put in the data types. Each row is represented through curly brackets. And so something I like to do that I think makes it more clear is separate them out. And it's actually good practice. So now, are they going to... This is an image too. <gasps> so we have to type all this out. All right. So I'm going to start typing this out. Now, guys, keep in mind, this square bracket means the start of the whole thing. I might even trying to show you what I mean to do something like this. I'm going to do something like this because this shows you this is the start of the entire array and this is the end of the entire 2D array. Now, these curly brackets will represent the... internal arrays. So let me hammer in the numbers and then talk about it.
Okay, I'm still bitter for having to write all that, but let me space it out. There we go. So again, guys, this isn't exactly standard formatting how I wrote this here. However, I like that it's readable. So this is the start of the whole block of array, you could say, and this is the end. And then each row is represented here. So when we say row and when we say column, this would be the column and this is the row. Now, more traditionally, you would see this probably formatted something like this. But you just want to keep in mind, you need those starting and ending and values, especially when I start with do, doing 2D arrays. I think this is good practice. However, it's not necessary. You don't need the line right there. I'm leaving it. All right. Declare and initialize. We did that. Return temp data array. So I need to get rid of this null and I have to return this. That would make sense. Okay. Get country data method. Return the str a string containing each value in the country's row from the cost of living array. Use the get country row method in country's class to get the row in the cost. Okay. So we have this get country data. And then we have get country row. Okay, so this will provide us uh, the row that the country is. Okay, so, and then we need all of the data. Got it. So I'm going to start with uh, int uh, country index, and then is going to be equal to get country row, and then I'm going to pass in the country that's passed to us. So that's a string value, which is fine, because what does this method do? Bloop takes that country string and it compares. It says, okay, if the string is Australia, that's index zero, which is this row, or Brazil, index one, so on and so forth. So that will give us the country index, which will be the first number uh, when we are accessing the indexes of a 2D array. Okay, and then return a string containing each value. Okay, so I am going to do int get country index. I'll do string country data, I guess, or I could just call this data and bloop. Um, I can just set it equal to nothing to make my life easier. And now I want to get the entire array of data. So I could do this through a loop or I could hard code it. It's somewhat up to us. Um, I might just hard code it since all of them have four values and it will be easier to visualize. So what's the name of our array? The name of our array is living cost in this particular one. So I'm going to do living cost and then I'm going to do zero, zero, except that's not what I'm going to do because the first value, let me make sure, get Asha with respect to each column represents yes. And so the first value should be the country. Um, so maybe I'll do country or just row right that's going to be the row we need to use so row and then do they give us a format nope they just say return a string so i'll pick then i'm going to just do a comma in between each number and then i need to do this a few times control b control c And it'd be the same row, of course, but we're going through each data. And I know there's four data points, so zero, index, one, two, and three. And then I don't want to return null. I'm going to return data. And this is looking good. Let's hit run. Pada! Awesome. Victory. Cool.